This is TNN, Tiger News Network. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Taylor. And I'm Daniela. Here are your morning announcements. The CSMS yearbook competition continues until September 29th. Draw what you think the cover of the yearbook should be and submit it to Mrs. Rajesh. She is located in the 8th grade hallway in room 212. The winner will get a free yearbook. Good luck! This morning, we will have an all-school assembly to hear from visiting award-winning author Trudy Ludwig. She has written numerous books, including The Invisible Boy, and she is a recommended back-to-school author for students to read by USA Today and School Scholastic. Let's make sure we live the code during this special event. Exciting news! Art club forms should have been turned in, and all art club kids have been informed about making the group. Our 2023-2024 Art Club has its first meeting this Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30. See you in the art room. Speaking of clubs, the Community Service Club will be starting up again very soon. Let's hear from Mrs. O'Malley and Mrs. Say with more information about it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Sipe. And I'm Mrs. O'Malley. And we're here to talk to you about Community Service Club. So first, Mrs. O'Malley, when does Community Service Club meet? Uh, we are going to have our first meeting on September 28th, right after school in room 204. And then we have meetings every other Thursday until April 11th. Right. Does it cost anything to join Community Service Club? No, it is completely free to join Community Service Club. We never ask for any money. Um, if you want to make donations of, say, baked goods for the um, for the sale, uh, the bake sale that we'll be having, that would be great, but otherwise it is completely free to join. Oh, wonderful. Well, you know, honestly, I don't know what Community Service Club does. Yeah, well, we do a lot of different things around the community. Um, we are going to have a bake sale in October. Um, we usually do one or two Feed My Starving Children packing sessions. We do a holiday shopping for a family. We adopt a family and do holiday shopping. And um, this year I'd like to do a virtual book drive like we've, like we've done in the past. And we always do a spring cleanup where we clean up outside the school after all the snow is melted and there's a lot of yucky things out there, and we also, at the end, have a big celebration pizza party. All right, now I know I've been asked by a lot of students, what do I do if I join a sport or the musical and I can't make this first meeting? Well, if you can't make the first meeting, just get the, um, the permission slip in. Um, and you can join after your your sport or club is over. Um, we are, I think, the longest running club. We run from, you know, September to April. So even if right now you're in soccer or another sport, you can come after soccer is over. If you need to take time out because you're in volleyball, you can take a, a few weeks out to uh, go to volleyball. Uh, we're pretty open. Just get that permission slip in. Definitely. So if you would like to join Community Service Club and help us make the world and your community, whether it's small here at Sandburg or maybe Mundelein or Lake County or even the world, like when we go to Feed My Starving Children, if you'd like to make these, pl these places better, then come on out next Thursday. See what we're like. Yeah. You can grab a permission slip from Ms. Sipe in room 312 or from me in room 204 um, and just you can bring that in before uh, the meeting or you can bring it the day of the meeting which again is Thursday September 28th right after school. In Carl Sandburg Sports a big shout out to eighth grader Eric Cordova who finished seventh in the Prairie Stampede event back on September 8th. All the sports teams are busy this week. The soccer team and girls volleyball teams travel to Deer Path today and Northwood on Wednesday. Then both teams host Neal on Thursday. The cross country team hosts Deer Path, Edgewood, and Lake Bluff on Tuesday, then goes to Lake Zurich South on Wednesday. Best of luck to all the teams. Stay tuned to learn more about the soccer team and Tigers to know. This month kicks off Hispanic Heritage Month. Throughout the month, we will be highlighting ways for everyone to learn and participate in this celebration. Join the celebration this week by playing La Loteria during homeroom. And now, here are your Tiger Student Spotlight winners of the week. 
Eighth grader Camila Quintero is nominated by Ms. Quint for a demonstrating effort. Here's what Ms. Quint said. I nominated Camila because she displays her best effort in everything she does. She strives to do well and works with focus and integrity. She also works well with her peers, especially when it comes to remaining on task. It has been an honor to see her grow as a learner from 6th to 7th grade and 8th. Keep it up. Ms. Cardenas nominated 7th grader Tara Theodore for showing community ownership and effort. According to Ms. Cardenas, since the first day of school, Tara has walked into the classroom with a huge smile on her face. She comes in not only ready to learn, but takes the time to, make, to help make sure her friends' peers are ready for class. I am proud of her for being such a great helper and friend, and also very proud of her because even when tasks may be hard, she pushes through and puts in effort to at least try. Keep being awesome, Tara. Seventh grader Stella Hunter has been nominated by Ms. Hobowitz for showing community, ownership, discovery, and effort. Here's what Ms. Hobowitz has to say. Stella came right into seventh grade ready to learn. She upholds the code values and always strives to do her best. She is a great participant and leader in ELA class. Stella shows community by helping out new students in our school and discovery by trying new things. She shows tremendous effort in and out of school by participating in band and the musical. Keep up the great work. Great job, Tigers. To all of you watching out there, make sure you keep living the code. And maybe next week you will be in the Tiger Student Spotlight. Now, here's Zoe with the fashion report. Since fall is approaching, it may be time to ditch those Crocs and invest in better shoes for the weather. I recommend Ugg Tasmans. When I wear them, they are very comfortable and you can wear them with or without socks. Another advantage is that they're shorter than the Ugg boots so you can wear them with ankle socks. One major con is that these shoes aren't suitable for rainy or snowy weather and cost $110, which some may find expensive. So when you have some extra cash and are looking to buy new shoes, it's worth considering purchasing a pair of Ugg Tasmans. Thanks Zoe. Now here's Brian with a movie review. The Lorax is a really good movie and it has lots of characters. The animations are awesome and the book is really good. The movie was really good and the main character suits it so well and the book rhymes which is so fun to say. Also the whole storyline and how they save the trees is really good. So that's why I like the Lorax movie. I rate this a 4 pause out of 5. Thanks Brian. Now here's Eli with Tigers to Know. Tigers to Know. Hi, Mila, and I'm talking with Camila. Angela. Um, how are you guys doing today? We're doing good. I'm doing good. Um, so there are guests from our soccer team, so now I'm going to ask them some questions. Uh, how's your soccer team going? Um, our soccer team is going really good. I feel like winning the first game started us off really good. Um, what are your strengths on the soccer team? Uh, strengths is that uh, overall we're a really good team. We have really good players. Uh, we're, we started off a game really good, and we're hoping to keep going. Um, what thing do you need to improve the most? I feel like we just need to improve in communication, because on the field, I feel like we don't talk as much as we should. <coughs> um, how many goals as a team have you made so far? Uh, I'm pretty sure we scored three goals our first game, which is a, a really good uh, way to start the season. Uh, but we just got to keep increasing those numbers. Um, what are the biggest challenges this season? Um, I feel like one of the biggest challenges will be keeping the stamina. Like if we do end up like losing or winning, we just have to keep like improving during the season. Tiger Ambush. Um, so now it's time for Tiger Ambush. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Just say the first thing that pops up in your head. Don't think answer quickly. Um, Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Takis or hot? Uh, hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Takis. Apple or Android? Apple. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Marvel or DC? Um, Marvel. DC. Halloween or Christmas? Halloween. Christmas. Uh, Thanksgiving or Easter? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. Great interview, Eli. Hey, Daniela, why did the whale blush? I don't know, Taylor. Why did the whale blush? Because it saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> hey, Taylor, why did the kid smash his cake with a hammer? I don't know, Daniela. Why did the kid smash his cake with a hammer? Because it was a pound cake. <laughs> 
So on behalf of everyone here on TNN, we hope you grow some dendrites and live the Tiger Code. Have a great day! Great job, Tigers. To all of you watching out there, make sure you keep living the code. And maybe next week, we you Since fall is approaching, it may be time to ditch those Crocs and invest in better shoes for the weather. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Hi, I'm Mila, and today I'm talking with Angelo, Camila, and they're from the soccer team. And now it's time for Tiger and Bush. No, no, you have to ask. You have to ask. Great interview, Eli. Hey, Daniela, why did the whale blush? Why did the whale blush, Taylor? Oh, wait, because no. it's not. <laughs> The Lorax is really good movie and it has lots of characters. <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of everyone, <laughs> wait, no, no, <laughs> wait a little for like the trunching. Hi, I'm Mila and I'm talking with Angela. Camila. And <laughs> three, two, one. Since fall is approaching. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guys, just like turn around or something. Just turn around. I got just, you, I got you. Hold on. 